strong. Yeah, I'm not doing it. She's not even making a face yet. <laughs> oh, she's so... It was really hard. Yum! <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether there's no go in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep no more, and by asleep to say we end parting and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, just a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, to choose a dream. Ah, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. When we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's a respect that makes calamity of so long life. <laughs> For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the laws delay, the influence of the office and the spurns that patient merit <laughs> of the unworthy takes. But he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin. Who would for those bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sick weed over with a pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pith and moment with disregard, their currents turn awry, and lose the name of action, soft you now the fair Ophelia, nymph, in thy horizons be all my sins remembered. <laughs>